What's up everyone? Welcome to this video. This is called 14.96822.0 Things I Love About Honda Shadows Part 10. You're probably watching this video thinking you're gonna get some kind of value out of it, right? Well, only if you've asked yourself, what's the stupidest bike in the world? Why would I want a bike? Should I buy a car? A Jeep? Should I get a bicycle? Oh, maybe a unicycle. Today, you're gonna learn why all those things are terrible. Let's get started. Today's video, you may see me referencing my phone, and that's because I am 41 years old and sometimes I forget things. And when you wanna write down a bunch of information and then say it properly to someone on the internet, it really helps to write it down so you don't look like a fumbling So the phone's gonna join me today. All right. First off, they work amazingly well with a very little amount of maintenance. Regular oil changes every two, 3,000 miles, regular coolant changes, spark plug changes once every few years with a proper gap, chain adjustments and lubricating the chain. If you've got a bike over 10 years old, we actually even offer an ignition tune-up kit that will freshen up those ignition wires. And yes, it does help. The transmission on Honda Shadows is incredibly durable and well-made. I hear a lot of people ask, you know, can we add another gear to the Honda Shadow? Can you put a different transmission in it? And these are obviously people who have no understanding of the fact that this is not a big twin where the transmission is not divorced from the engine. No, you can't add another gear. Yes, there are other bikes in other countries with more than four gears. However, what that basically is is a third gear split. And that's because most of the speeds in that country are gonna correlate to the speeds you're gonna get out of this bike, or these bikes at three, three Third to fourth gear. They have four gears, big deal. Some have five, some have more, but the transmission will last longer than you do most likely. You can beat the snot out of these things and they still run fantastically well. Section B, the drum brake on these things is incredibly easy to maintain. All you need to do is every few months, blow out the drum with some air, compressed air. Even if you don't have a compressor with a hose, you can get some of that dust off stuff. Don't huff it and just spray it inside the drum brake. Also don't breathe that shit and that pretty much helps clean all the dust out. It's a very simple process. Adjusting the drum brake is very easy as well. And yeah, it's not fancy, you know, it's not like a fancy disc brake on the rear, but it's also way less maintenance. If you're a man of sophistication, much like myself, you're not gonna wanna miss the release of The Shop on July 19th on YouTube. So go ahead and click the link below. Somewhere, somewhere here, there's gonna be a big thing that says the link or something to that effect. Somewhere here, there's a link and check it out. If you don't, you're stupid. And your navel lint is terrible. You have really big pores in your nose. Number two, these bikes are incredibly well made and comfortable to ride. Even stock, the bikes are comfortable for most folks. However, if you are over six feet and you got some lanky legs that go right up and make an ass out of themselves, the controls can be a little tight. Luckily, there are products on the aftermarket that you can actually buy to extend the forward controls a little bit and make the cockpit more comfortable for a taller frame human being. I have seen a number of Honda Shadows involved in accidents. Quite a few of them actually, and I've bought parts. The frames are usually undamaged. It's usually forks, tank, bars, pipes, things like that. And I've seen quite a few of them get in some pretty bad wrecks. So I've always been very impressed with how well the stock frame is actually made. And if you take everything off these bikes, you look at the frame and it's almost as if whoever designed it was hoping somebody was gonna chop it. Part three, the Honda Shadows are affordable for beginner or advanced riders. You can go out there and find on the market 600s, 750s, 1100s, 1300s, for anywhere between 500 to five grand, depending on what you're looking for. But words the wise here, if you go on, you know, Facebook Marketplace, offer up, and you see a pretty much stock Honda Shadow with a lot of rattle can and stock pegs, it still has the orange shit on the radiator, stock exhaust that may be cut off. Someone's asking four grand for that? Mm -mm. No, that's worth 25, three at the most. Someone's put a lot of work into this. As you can see here, there's plenty of fabrication, custom front end, custom sissy bar, fenders, seats, side covers, the whole nine yards, that demands a little bit of a higher price. However, if you're looking just to get into these bikes, you can find them stock unmolested pretty easily and for a very affordable price. And now a word from our sponsors. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Just wanted to say, uh, we, wait, what am I supposed to say? ShopTJBC.com! ShopTJBC.com! Ah! Just wanted to tell you to go get some shit at ShopTJBC.com. Have a great day. Number four, the Honda Shadows are fun as hell. No question here, they're nimble, light on their feet, yet sturdy enough to withstand some serious miles. I've taken mine off-road and on longer hauls and the only issues I've ever encountered were my back and ass needing a break. Every Honda Shadow I've owned has been a joy to ride. The handling is always responsive and the sum of the individual components makes for a comfortable, worry-free ride, unlike the crusty old fucking Harley that Ben owns. Uh oh Part of your motorcycles are whoops. Number five. The Honda Shadows are water cooled. Unlike a lot of bikes in the market, these bikes have a water jacket, which allows them to have a pretty long lifespan. As long as you maintain 
that coolant inside the water jacket, this bike will be able to maintain operating temperatures for a long time much like your car does. I know some manufacturers say their bikes are water-cooled or air-cooled. And as we know, that's not really a optimal way to cool an engine. It kind of works for a while, but it does hasten the breakdown of all the components in an engine. The Honda Shadows have a water jacket, which allows them to maintain that operating temperature at just the right, right range. A simple coolant change every couple years, burp the system, you're back on the road, the whole job takes you maybe an hour and that's gonna prolong the life of this bike, but it's one of the things I do love about the Honda Shadows. They are water-cooled. Number six, the Honda Shadow is incredibly easy to chop. When you take the tank off the bike and take the seat off, take the fender off, you can stand back and see how seemingly small changes can make drastic visual changes to the bike itself. Something like tank, pipes and bars. Just three elements on a bike can radically change the look of that bike itself. Getting taller bars, getting different shaped bars. The actual rear end of the 600 lends itself to a hardtail very easily. Since 2007, when I started making parts for these bikes, we've been dedicated to making badass parts for the Honda Shadow line. And th to this day, we are still inventing parts, coming out with new stuff. This bike, the 600s, 750s, they're all begging to be chopped. Number seven. The Honda Shadows just won't quit. I've seen so many of these bikes absolutely thrashed, beat to piss, and really not well taken care of, and they're still going. Now, obviously, you can roll the dice and not invest time and energy into taking care of your bike. However, if you're in a pinch, they usually don't let you down. I've had a number of these bikes over the years. Honestly, the only failures I've had have been my ass hurting and my back hurting, and stupid shit like a battery, you know? but I really wouldn't say I blame that on the bike itself. The battery was five years old. Any battery over three years is kind of running on borrowed time and I had killed that battery like 20 times. But you know, it's kind of part of motorcycles. Stuff falls apart and you know, you get to call your buddies and hang out with them and hope somebody has a truck. This has been seven things I love about Honda Shadows. I could go on for a long time, but I really enjoy these bikes. I get on the Harley, it's cool, you know, but there's just something about being able to get on a Honda Shadow and not really worry about parts rattling off of it, things falling apart, knowing I can go a long distance and I'll, the bike will probably be fine, you know? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting a Harley and having things fall off because sometimes that's part of the fun, you know? Sometimes that's what you want. You want to have something where you're like, I don't know, will it make it? Woo, it's going to be a ride. But uh, if you're looking for something reliable and fun, can't go wrong with a Honda Shadow. Thank you everyone for watching. And if you've ever had your dog sprayed by a skunk, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I gotta put him down, it's kinda stinky. Ooh. Tomato juice. <laughs>